Monday morning was a 6 a.m. start. This is the hotel in Puerto Ahara in Santa Cruz, which was quite interesting and not that bad, actually. The rooms were lovely. And uh, then we had to get to Isabel Island, but we had to get a two-hour boat ride. But you saw a pelican, for example, just hanging out, and also these strange red crabs, which you ever get in the Galapagos Islands too. The problem was that it took about two hours before we actually set off on the boat because we were waiting for people to arrive and uh, there seemed to be some sort of cartel. Anyway, we set off in this ropey old boat with huge motors on the back. It looked like the inside of the space shuttle. It was incredibly bumpy, it was rainy, it took forever and it was boring and uncomfortable and just two hours of utter boredom as it shot bouncing along through the waves. And this was relatively flat. Other people have a worse time. And uh, a couple of people were quite badly seasick as well. And there's nothing you could do, you just had to sit there. So in the end, it took about five hours to actually arrive um, at Isabel Island at about 11 o'clock. Absolutely horrific experience. And I've got to do all this coming back again because there isn't any other way back, really. Anyway, when we got into uh, Isabel Island, it was quite nice. And uh, we moored up and went ashore. You didn't really feel like you were somewhere different with sea lions cavorting about and little birds and lizards on the ground around you. We got this open bus um, out of the port. All the taxis are pickup trucks, which is funny. And then it's fairly ramshackle, just as you'd expect in somewhere like the Caribbean. So not that unusual, really. And then we arrived at our hotel, which was pretty ramshackle, to be honest. It looked like a hostel, fairly basic inside. The rooms are very basic. But hey, it's cheap, and you can see the roads are just dirt roads and tiny little dirt houses that people live in. So it really is very basic. And uh, some of the shops and cafes look quite interesting, selling the usual tourist tat. And we went down to the beach expecting to go for a swim, but there was epic surf, as you can see, and it was raining too, so not exactly what I was expecting, thinking it would be hot, blue and sunny and we could go paddling in the Pacific. So anyway, instead we just sat in out of the rain and had a really nice lunch, although that took ages, watching the surf build up and actually seeing people going surfing, which is quite interesting. I didn't know they did surfing here. I did do a paddle, but I did do a paddle in the Pacific, so that's my first dip. Quite pretty though, we sat on the beach for a bit, um, but after a while it started to rain. So we then had to go back to the hotel for 3 p.m. because we were going to the tortoise breeding centre. So that was actually quite interesting. And we saw the giant tortoises, those are 100 years old, and these little ones are 10 years old. The little ones were quite cute as they, uh, you, they fought over pieces of food and they pretty hardcore fighting, as you can see here. These ones are about 120 years old and are a different species. Then we walked back into town along a boardwalk and there were lots of lizards, or iguanas I should say, just sort of hanging out, warming up in the sun because they're cold-blooded. And this one just chilling or heating, which is quite cool. They're really not bothered. Then we got back to the seafront, and as you can see, epic waves. Then walk back to the hotel. Again, not many people really for the huge number of cafes that there are there. Then we went for a meal in the evening, and that was it. <laughs>